the president-elect uh, now has to put together a team and put forward specifics uh, about how he intends to govern. And he hasn't had a full opportunity to do that yet. And so people should uh, take a wait-and-see approach in uh, how much his policy proposals once in the White House, once he is sworn in, matches up with uh, some of the rhetoric of his campaign. Uh, my simple point is, is that you can't assume that the language of campaigning matches up with uh, the specifics of governing legislation, regulations, and foreign policy. I can't be sure of anything. Uh, I think, like everyone else, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but uh, as I've said before, uh, once you're in the Oval Office, once you begin interacting with world leaders, once you see the complexities of the issues, uh, that has a way of uh, shaping your thinking and, in some cases, modifying your thinking uh, because you recognize this solemn responsibility not only to the American people but uh, the solemn responsibility that America has uh, as uh, the largest, most powerful country in the world. And uh, I can't guarantee that uh, you know, the president-elect uh, won't pursue some of the positions that he's taken. Uh, but what I can guarantee is, is that uh, reality will force him to adjust how he approaches many of these issues.